In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we are going to check out the top 5 best external GPU docks in 2018. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these external GPU docks, you can check out the links down in the description and the comment section below. Ok, so, let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the Akitio node. The Akitio node is an affordable, all-in-one Thunderbolt 3 external GPU dock that supports both macOS and Windows 10 systems, so let's get quickly into action and find out what will be your benefits if you ever get this product. This unit features a stylish, all-black construction that packs a removable back panel, a Thunderbolt 3 port at the back as well as a carry handle which will offer you a stable grip, so you can place the node wherever you want. At the bottom, there are 4 feet which will keep the node stable on virtually any surface, and once you place this unit on your preferred location you shouldn't worry about the stability at all. At the inside, there is a built-in, 400W SFX PSU which is extremely useful due to the fact that the wattage is sufficient to output enough power for your GPU. Moreover, since I've mentioned your GPU, I'd also like to inform you that this unit integrates a single PCIe X16 slot that can accommodate full length and height cards, and if we add its spacious enclosure it means that you can place double width cards without any problem. However, please keep in mind that the node supports AMD on macOS High Sierra for now, but if you're a Windows user, this device can support multiple GPU cards which is quite good. Moving on, you can pair this device with your regular laptop, or mini PC as well, and once you do that, you will feel the instant difference in terms of the frame rates you will get while playing your favorite games. But, if we take gaming aside, photo and video editors will also benefit from having this device, due to the fact that the dedicated GPU will drastically improve the rendering speed, and by default this means that your productivity is going to be dramatically enhanced. Finally, most of the users have stated that they didn't have any remarks regarding the performance and the design, which doesn't surprise me at all considering what you get in return if you ever get this device. To conclude, I strongly recommend you consider the Akitio node because it will never disappoint you with its performance. Moving on, at number 4, we have the Omen Accelerator Shell GA1. The Omen Accelerator Shell GA1 would be a really good option, especially if you're a gamer who wants to boost the capacity of its laptop and achieve stable frame rates without spending a fortune. This unit sports a matte black, tilted angle design that measures 15.75 inches in length, 7.87 inches in width, 7.87 inches in height and weighs around 15 pounds, making it an extremely portable device that can be your greatest companion anywhere you go. At the front, you can instantly notice the well-known Omen logo which adds an aggression to its appearance, signifying its gaming purpose, but you can also notice its feet which completely blend to its overall aesthetics, so I have to admit that HP did a really good job here. At the rear, there is an RJ45 port, single USB 3.1 Type-C port, and four USB 3.1 ports, while at the side, there is a large door which will let you have an easy access to the graphics card slot. For your information, the manufacturer states that this unit is compatible with every graphics card, so you will never be restricted on anything. The other components include a 2.5-inch drive bay, a replaceable power supply, so as you can see, you won't have any issues in terms of future upgradeability. Thanks to its feature-full construction, the Omen Accelerator shell will exclude you from the need of purchasing a new PC, and if we add its plug-and-play architecture, without a doubt I can say that you will have an amazing time with this device. I would also like to mention that the cooling performance has been heavily praised by the customers on the market, and there are two reasons that answer this. The first is its 45-degree tilted design, while the second is its vent holes that are spread along the inner metal cage and the outer plastic shell. That's why, even if you've been gaming for hours, you won't notice a decrease in the performance which is always wanted by every gamer. Overall, the Omen Accelerator shell is worthy of considering, so give it a try and assure yourself of its quality. Next up, at number 3, we have the Razer Core X. The Razer Core X is among the best and the most purchased external GPU docks on the market, and I'm sure that you've seen this name popping up numerous times on the internet while you were searching for an external GPU well, now it is the right time to find out why's the whole hype going around this device. First of all, I have to say that Core X radiates with elegance, regardless of your viewing position, because of its all-matte black finish that looks and means gaming. 
In addition, the unit's exterior is made of an aluminum and houses multiple vents and lines that will ensure a proper cooling, while at the back, there is a single USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, a power switch and a conveniently positioned handle which swings out and unlocks the internal GPU tray. Unfortunately, Razer ditched the chroma lighting which means that your graphics card won't have an option to glow in numerous colors that are available in the Synapse software, so I will leave it up to you to decide whether we can consider it as a remark or not. Moreover, once you swing the handle, you can find a PCIe graphics slot which can accommodate up to three wide NVIDIA or AMD graphics cards, a 650-watt supply and a 100-watt laptop charging, so all you have to do is to plug your laptop and start gaming right away. For your information, both Windows and macOS users may use this external GPU, however, keep in mind that when paired with macOS, this unit only works with AMD Radeon cards. As expected, the performance will entirely be connected with the GPU and the specs of your laptop, but most of the users claim that the Core X does a perfect job in boosting the performance of your laptop, and I'm sure that you will notice this once you get this product. Finally, thanks to the presence of the Thunderbolt 3 port, the connection between this device with your laptop will be super fast, with speeds that range at up to 40 gigabits per second for your ultimate user experience. To conclude, I strongly recommend you consider this product because it looks as good as it performs. Moving on, at number 2, we have the Asus ROG XG Station 2. The ROG XG Station 2 is a high-end external GPU dock that would be an extremely good choice for everyone who wants to transform his laptop into a VR-ready gaming machine with real 4K capabilities. Before we get into action, I'd like to inform you that this device doesn't come with an included graphics card, but you will have an option to a GTX 1070 and up to GTX 1080 graphics card if you want. This unit without a doubt looks aggressive and reminds me of an extraterrestrial spacecraft, because of its engraved patterns that are spread across its entire construction. At the back, there are the connection ports which are composed of an HDMI port, four USB 3.0 ports, a gigabit Ethernet port, a USB Type-B connector, a Thunderbolt 3 port, a DisplayPort and a DVI port, so as you can see, they are quite many, since you will be fully supplied with everything needed. For instance, you can plug your VR headset, monitor, gaming mouse, keyboard and every gaming gear you have, so from now on, your gaming experience will never be the same. Moreover, once you open this unit, you can notice that the internal part consists of a 600-watt power supply which has enough capacity to support your laptop, tablet and graphics card, as well as an array of LEDs which will add even more aggression to its appearance. For your information, the ROG XG Station 2 supports full-length desktop graphics cards, starting from GeForce GTX 900 series and up to AMD Radeon R9 series, so you can set the one that you prefer the most. However, the only remark users had regarding this unit is that the PCIe slot has a side push lock design which may lead to a tricky removal for the first-time users. Except for gaming use, this external GPU dock is also suitable for 4K video editing, because it has enough power to offer you a real desktop-grade performance. Overall, you should definitely consider the ROG XG Station 2 because it packs numerous ports, looks aggressive and has enough capacity to transform your laptop or PC into a real powerhouse. And finally, at number 1, we have the Gigabyte Aorus. The Gigabyte Aorus is an external graphics card box that utilizes an integrated graphics card and a Thunderbolt 3 support which makes it an excellent option for everyone who wants to have a smooth gaming experience with stable frame rates. This unit is available in 6 editions, but the one we are currently reviewing comes with a GTX 1070 graphics card, however, if you require a better performance do not hesitate to switch and choose the one that is ideal for you. Moreover, the Aorus boasts a sleek, matte black construction that is followed by the Aorus logo at the front, large cooling vents located at the sides and multiple ports at the rear, so when you see it as a whole, it looks very handsome. Since I've mentioned the ports, I'd like to inform you that they consist of two DVI ports, single HDMI port, one HDMI port, four USB 3.0 Type-A ports where one of them uses the quick charge technology to help you recharge your mobile devices within a very short period of time. At the inside, you can notice the presence of two 40mm fans which are located in front of the 450 watt power supply, but you can also notice yet another tiny fan that draws the outside air over the PSU internals. In addition, beneath the graphics card, there is a strip of RGB LEDs that can be customized through the Aorus Gaming Engine software. 
When it comes to the performance itself, thanks to the included GTX 1070 which is based on the Pascal architecture, you will have stable frame rates on most of the current and upcoming games, but keep in mind that everything would depend on your laptop specs. For instance, if you have at least an i5 processor with 8GB of RAM, you may play Fallout 4, Mass Effect Andromeda, CS, GO, The Witcher 3 and other games without any problem, but an i7 processor would be a way more preferable option. To conclude, the Gigabyte Aorus is a must-have option because this device will offer you a smooth and fully immersive gaming experience like you've never tasted before. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future, and if you have any questions related to these external GPU docs, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.